Amazing Top 10 Tips for Herpes Simplex Virus, Including Recommended Herpes Treatment for Herpes Virus HSV1 or 2, EBV and Genital Herpes. Number 1. Be aware that loose talk can damage relationships. HSV is commonly caught through oral sex and most people catch genital herpes from a partner who doesn't know they are infected. Three quarters of those who are HSV positive are unaware of their status, having only mild or non-existent symptoms. Asymptomatic carriers may experience their first symptoms years after initial infection so transmission between partners may occur at any time in established relationships. Suggesting that a third party may be involved is unhelpful and often untrue. But there will often be uncertainty as the partner is unlikely to be diagnosed unless clear symptoms are present. Number 2. Herpes is a condition that has been subjected to unnecessary hype and is now highly stigmatized. Many patients aren't unduly affected by physical symptoms but are psychologically devastated when diagnosed. Referring to the condition as cold sores on the genitals and explaining the parallel with chickenpox or herpes varicella allows the patient to put the condition in context and helps to contain stigma. Number 3. Be alert to the possibility of non-genital symptoms. Facial recurrences may occasionally affect the eye or the brain. Genital reactivation from the sacral ganglion may cause symptoms in the anogenital region and even down the back of the leg, sometimes accompanied by sciatica or other types of neuralgia such as burning skin, itching, aching or jabbing sensations. Number 4. Herpes simplex types 1 and 2 are clinically indistinguishable. Patients will present reporting malaise, followed by localized pain or itching. Signs include small vesicles or fissuring. Look under the foreskin or in the folds of the labia as lesions may be small and easily missed. Swabs are best taken from the base of a freshly pierced blister and PCR-based methods are preferable to viral culture. Typing should be done as a type 1 result may be reassuring to the patient since the majority of future contacts will already carry type 1 antibodies. Dysuria may cause women to attribute primary symptoms to cystitis, but cystitis is characterized by frequent urination whereas genital herpes affects the urethra and stifles the desire to urinate. In rare cases, catheterization may be required. In patients with recurrences that do not respond to antivirals, consider an additional or differential diagnosis. These include Bechet syndrome, eczema, pemphigus vulgaris and lichen sclerosis. Number 5. If the infection is severe enough to treat, prescribe a 5-day course of acyclovir even if diagnosis is still uncertain. It's a cheap safe treatment and will have helped the patient if HSV is confirmed. Lidocaine 5% ointment can ease discomfort and may speed healing. There is no place for topical acyclovir in primary infection. Number 6. Look out for neuralgia in the affected dermatomy. This can be treated with analgesics or systemic acyclovir. Number 7. Refer patient to clinic immediately if symptoms are not clear. When diagnosis is obvious, suggest patient visits a clinic for a full screening in a few weeks, when symptoms of herpes simplex have resolved. Number 8. Reassure patients the condition may be painful and is stigmatized but is seldom medically serious. Most patients do not suffer frequent recurrences but these are more likely with HSV2. Sections are no longer routine when the patient has a recurrence at term and the risks of vaginal delivery for the fetus are small and must be set against risks to the mother of the operation. Advice on pregnancy, transmission, relationships and stigma is available from the Herpes Viruses Association website and helpline. HV a patient cards to hand out are available free on request. Number 9. Offer prophylactic acyclovir to patients who are having frequent recurrences for more than 6 a year or if symptoms are perceived to be a problem by the patient. Number 10. Offer type-specific antibody test to partner if required. The results could reduce stress and recurrences if both partners are found to have the same type. These are the top 10 tips from Dr. Phil Hammond. He is AGP in Bristol and patron of the Herpes Viruses Association. Credit to www.pulsetoday.co.uk The last part is about treatment. Antivirals, such as acyclovir, famcyclovir, and valacyclovir are the most effective medications available for people infected with HSV. If you want to learn more about how Dr. Christine Bueller discovered the way to eliminate herpes simplex virus in less than a month, you can watch her video. The link to her video at this video's description below. Thanks for watching our video. Please subscribe to our channel so we can keep sharing the valuable information with you. 
See you again in our next video.